just a quick forward from me to you guys stay safe wash your hands wear your masks especially when you go outside and overall just stay safe and take care of each other there is that what is up you two my name is john and today i will be reacting to dimash and lee yugang drunken concubine plus diva dance at dragon tv shanghai spring festival gala 2020 wow that was one hell of a title but yeah that is all there is to the title but we are gonna get into the music i promised you guys another dimash video and i believe that uh, some of you guys have mentioned i actually mentioned something about like yeah i bet he can do like you know death metal vocals and stuff like that and i believe that at least two or three of you guys have told me that he does something like that in this song i'm not entirely sure if it's if it's this exact performance but we're gonna find out very soon and maybe if if it will not be here in this performance i will react to that video where it actually where he actually does that thing i don't even know how it's called it's kind of he does it for like you told me that he does it just for like a split second or not split second but for a very short time to like not damage his voice or something like that but without further talking let's finally enjoy these two guys i believe that lee yugang is a chinese singer we'll see let's jump into the song three two one now <laughs> Is he sitting on a throne? A throne made out of vocal cord, vocal cords of defeated singers. Oh, hi, I don't know you. Now I do. Different but a very lovely voice. Hold up, there was that. There was that. I don't know if it's done like that. That was interesting. That I, I did not expect that. Like, holy moly macaroni. Oh. Oh, it's a party. All right. I almost feel like that voice doesn't fit into that body. <laughs> Jesus. It's a vocal battle. What the? What was? Okay, I need to go. Holy crap! The video shit itself. Uh, I'm extremely sorry about this. Let me just go back real quick because I heard a tea kettle. Like that was a tea kettle. Like what was that? That didn't sound human. Oh, okay. Once more. I'm sorry for. Is that even humanly possible? Uh. This 
This is the stuff that you hear in your dreams and you don't remember it after waking up. The second guy's voice just doesn't fit his body somehow. I don't know. But he's awesome. It sounds a bit like a chipmunk. I'm sorry, I was <laughs> inappropriate, but still. In some notes, he definitely does. Brother! Brother. That was Dimash. Dimash. Sorry. Dimash Kudai Brim and Li Yugang. Singing Drunken Concubine plus Diva Dance at Dragon TV Shanghai Spring Festival Gala 2020. I don't know why I'm always saying that, you know, in full, but I just do. I I'm trying to think right now, but after this, again, you know, it's hard to, s to form words after these performances. But this one had many things going. Like, first, I'm g okay, I'm gonna talk about the Lee Yugang guy first. A little bit, just a little bit. His, as I said before, his voice definitely kinda didn't fit his body. Like, I, I had I had a feeling like someone else is singing that. I just, I, I hope, I hope. I had a little bit of a feeling that they might be lip syncing this, and I hope I'm wrong. Please prove me down in the comments that I'm wrong about that, because I when I was watching the video, at some part it felt like they are not really opening their mouths accordingly to you know the sound that was coming out of them, and it was like we all know that Dimash is like super clean and definitely one of the best, if not the best, you know when it comes to technical skills, uh, singer. One of the best or the best singer in the world right now. And I don't know about the second guy, like, he sounded great, but I just sometimes had the feeling that especially, you know, he was, sometimes it felt like he was lip syncing. I want to be wrong about this, don't get me wrong. I hope I'm wrong about this, prove me wrong down in the comments. But it just felt to me a bit like that at some point. But he still, you know, had to record that, so all the mad props to that guy. He did an amazing job. He has a very interesting voice for sure, and some of those notes, man, like crazy stuff. But Dimash, oh my, our boy Dimash definitely did not disappoint. I actually bought a, you know, a ticket to his concert that was supposed to take place in Prague in just, I believe, like 10 days, something like that. And unfortunately, you know, that little that little thingy is kind of plaguing the plaguing Europe right now and the rest of the world as well. I think you know what I mean, but YouTube doesn't want me to say that word, otherwise they will just destroy my video. So there is that, but yeah, that probably won't happen like the whole country is under quarantine, so there is that. It's very unfortunate, but you know, maybe sometime someday in the future we'll see. But Dimash did an amazing performance. Like the tea kettle note, I don't even know. I don't even know how to begin. How? Like how? How do you do that sound? Like the best I can do right now is to do the what I call that is my specialty, the pterodactyl mating sound, and it goes like this: Prepare your ear holes. <laughs> Okay, that was pretty damn horrible, but the tea kettle no noise, I'm gonna just call it like tea kettle noise or tea kettle note. It sounds super weird and cool at the same time. It sounds like very, like, you know, alien spaceship basically going down, you know, up from the sky 
to Earth and I don't know man, it just it was so awesome though. But you know, I'm just not gonna talk just about that note. Obviously the whole performance, he was playing with his voice as always, you know, sometimes going from those really low lows to those really high notes. And it was just awesome to hear, you know, those vocal climbs and when they were battling together, battling obviously not really, you know, like fighting like MMA. Just a vocal battle like you have rap battles, sometimes there are vocal battles and this one was definitely awesome. Because both of these guys are extremely talented musicians and singers. And it was actually a very interesting song because it's actually, I believe, two songs because you had the Drunken Concubine and the Diva Dance. I believe that those are separate songs, but they go kind of well together, you know, the very beginning where they just kind of very slowly started up their vocal engines and then it got, you know, kind of like a, a party song, but with amazing vocals because sometimes the party so songs that you hear on parties, yeah, they suck hard. <laughs> and I'm usually not a big fan of these, you know, instrumentals like this, but with the vocals provided, it was an awesome experience. You know, I was actually, most of the time I was focusing on the vocals anyway, so there is that. But when that, you know, when that dance beat hit, it was kind of, it felt like a party and it felt really good today. So there is that, but both these guys did an amazing job. I'm still not entirely sure if like everything, especially from Lee Yugang, was really you know sung live because, as I said before, it felt a little bit like a lip sync. But again, you guys can prove me wrong down in the comments below. But Dimash, we all know that Dimash is a freaking monster when it comes to vocal performances and vocal ver verticality and all this kind of stuff, basically. And that, I don't know, not a death metal growl, it felt like, whoa, I, I can do it again because I can really remember how it sounded, but it came out of nowhere, I didn't expect it, I was hoping for it to appear, and I'm so glad that he did that because to hear him this low with his voice was really, really fucking cool. Alright, so that is it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to Dimash and Liu Gang. Drunken Concubine plus Dividends at Dragon TV Shanghai Spring Festival Gala 2020 and again I have to read the whole title for some reason but I hope you guys won't mind and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff because as you know there is always more videos coming your way and if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here, either about PayPal or on Patreon. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching. This is my last Dimash video. Hold up, hold up for now. You know, I don't want to burn myself out on his performances and his songs yet. So I'm definitely planning on doing a little bit more Dimash in the future. But for now, I will do a little pause. But you can already tell me down in the comments which song I should check out next because I believe there is still quite a couple of song songs that I would enjoy from Dimash. So again guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. So have a nice day, evening, night or whatever you have right now. Cheers!